All right, guys. Today we're going to work on a coop. No, we're not going to wash it, even though it needs it real bad. Uh, what we're going to do is uh, we're going to check out the brake lights. The brake lights don't seem to be working. I was coming back from a cruise, and uh, one of the one of the other guys that was at the cruise pulled up next to me and said my brake light, lights weren't working. So uh, we check them out. And what I did is uh, turn the ignition on in here. And I put the turn signal on, and that tells me where you at down here that the the, the bulbs are okay because I, I think the turn signal bulbs and the brake lights are actually the same. So we know the bulbs are good. Now what we're going to do is I'm actually going to use you guys, and I'm going to stick you up in the tripod here, and uh, you're going to help me. So hold on. All right. And you guys uh, up there on a tripod looking at the tail light, I can actually see you in the screen there. And I've got the key on, and I'm hitting the brake, and we don't see nothing. So, first thing I'm going to do is uh, let's check the fuse. Alright, the fuses are over here on the passenger side. I got a little flashlight here, see if that helps. Let's see if I can get down far enough. Let me see if I can turn this. Hold on, hold on guys. There we go. There's the fuse box under there. <clears throat> so let me, uh, let me prop these up and we'll see what we can do. Alright, I just noticed if you look at the third one up here, this is a power window. And then this is the clock and accessories. And this one here, it actually says uh, brakes and, uh, what does that say? Four ways or whatever. I got you a little more light. I don't know if that'll help or not. But like I say, it says uh, brake lights and uh, hazards. I can't. I don't know if that's going to be better for you or not. There we go. That looks a little better. So, actually, I, I probably don't have to take that fuse out. All I have to do is uh, throw the hazards on over here. Let's go around back and check them. Alright. So it looks like they are the same lights. But while we're under there, I got you under there. Let's pull the fuse anyway, right? What the heck? In case uh, somebody has a separate brake light. Alright, let me try and prop you guys up. Alright, you guys are pretty much balanced there. And we're not in the best position here. Even I'm not in the best position, but uh, we'll, deal with it. we'll both deal with it the same. Okay, I know that's not how you're supposed to take fuses out, but that's how I take them out. All right. I don't know if you can see it, but you see it has like an S in the middle here. That usually if it's uh, no good, it's broken, but uh, our fuse is good. We pretty much knew it was, but uh, that's the first thing you guys want to check. Because sometimes you're, you're has you don't have hazard lights, you know, it depends on these older cars. And uh, you might have separate switch for them, separate uh, fuse. So, uh, we'll put that back in and then uh, we'll keep going, we'll keep looking. Alright, so uh, what are we going to check next? Let me get in the car here. If I can. Oh, yoy, yoy. They didn't make these cars for big boys like me. Alright, I don't know if you see my, my uh, brake pedal down there. My brake pedal is attached to the floor. I'd say in 95% of the cars out there, your brake pedal is, is hung from the under the dash, so you're going to have a little different setup. My uh, switch, we're going to check the the pressure switch on the, the brake here, and, and on mine, I think it's connected right up to the master cylinder, which would be actually under this car. And I could get to it by taking the rug up, and there's a hole in the floor, but uh, that's a lot of trouble, so I might just crawl under there and we'll try and get it from there. Yeah, uh, you other guys, when you go to it, you actually don't have a pressure switch, it's just an electronic uh, clicking switch. It will be hanging off the top there and it'll be right behind the, the pedal, you know, and it just makes contact. But uh, like I say, this one's a little different, so uh, let's jack her up and crawl under there. Alright, I got it jacked up. I got jack stands on there, good quality jack stands too. And they also have locks. I put locks on there. I'll show you what them locks are when uh, 
we take it down. But also, besides the jacks, I leave the jack stand under there and uh, put a little tension on that. You know, you can't can never be too safe. Road King lost a friend with a, with a car that fell off a jack. And then uh, you want to get up here and uh, shake it, you know, see if you can actually shake it off the jack and make sure it's good. So uh, that's something you don't want to play around with. All right, let's crawl under there. All right, we're under the car now, and <clears throat> here's my master cylinder. Uh, the air boost, whoever the hell it is right there, but uh, anywhere. Here's, uh, here's your, your pressure switch, which uh, is for your tail lights. Now, I turned most of the lights off in the garage, and to test that, you just want to, uh, if this gets a little wonky, it's because it's, uh, I'm holding it with my left hand, and I'm laying on my back, and it's tough, so if you get queasy and uh, seasick, uh, turn it off now. But anyway, what you want to do is uh, just, just ground these two wires out. I just seen a little spark, so I'll try to get my hand out of the way here. You just ground these two wires out. Then I'm going to swing around here. Like I said, I turned all the lights out in the garage. You see the red light back there? They're my brake lights. I'm just playing with this now. On, off, on, off, on. I can't see what I'm doing. <laughs> Road kick. Road kick, you kill me. Here you go. On, off, on, off, on, off. All right, so I know I know that's uh, we got a bad switch. See what I was doing? I was just just going like this, on, off, on, off, on, off. You could uh, get yourself some jumper wires, and well, oh, there's some pretty big wires there. Where's the other end here? And then uh, jump it like that, and then you can see back there. Brake lights are on. I'm gonna unhook it now. Okay. All right. So we know that this is our problem. So what we got to do is uh, actually I don't have to do that with the switch. You can do it with the the terminals here. There is no uh, right or wrong terminal. Where you get, you can put it out on whichever one you way, whatever any any which way you want. So let me get a let me get a pair of pliers. I don't know what size that is. That might be. Uh, at least a one inch. So let me see if I can find a socket to fit on there. And if not, we'll find something else. We'll get it off. Alright, here's a new one. That looks to be a uh, one inch. It fits into my one inch deep socket there. So I'll bring this under there with me and then I'll bring uh, a pair of uh, channel locks with me too. Alright, let's go. Alright, I loosened it with a crescent wrench. I couldn't get, not the crescent wrench, but the we call these things channel locks. I, I loosened them with a channel lock, so I was lucky I was able to get it off. Because uh, a socket wouldn't fit on there. Alright, I got it loose. Doesn't look like there's any kind of pipe thread on there or goop or anything like that, so I'm going to throw the, the new one on there. Probably going to get some drippage here, so uh, watch your eyes. Here we go. No, nope, no drippage. Huh. That's an eighth inch pipe thread there. So we're going to put it in naked. Sorry about that. I guess there's no way for me not to get in your way. That's uh, it's too small. That's just right. Okay. Let me put you on. On a ratchet. Where'd you go? There you go. All right. Sorry about all the shake, wobble, and rolling, but I'm doing this with one hand on my back, upside down and inside out. I'm surprised it's cranking up so much. All right. Uh, that feels about good there. All right. Now all we got to do is plug the wires in. There we go. Looks like it should have had some kind of rubber thing on there, but uh, hey, what are you going to do? Alright, let's go up and check it. Alrighty, I dropped you guys down. Uh, here are the jack stands. Uh, I don't know what to tell you guys about jack stands, other than if you go to buy a set, buy a good set. You know what I mean? This, this isn't where you want to save money, you know, with your $5 Harbor Freight uh, 
25% off coupons and stuff like that. And this is the key I was saying about. This is this is another safety here. That goes in once once you jacked up and you come to where you want. These little keys go in there. I'm trying to do this on my left hand. Road King's not left-handed. There you go. And they just uh, they just go in there. And that's just another uh, another safety issue. Another, another safety feature. So, uh, like I say, I mean, I lost a friend to a, a car that fell off a jack. And it's not fun. All right. Let me put you up on the uh, tripod here, and uh, you guys can help me uh, test these lights. All right. Let's check them out. Turn the key on here. Alright, I see something. You guys see it? Alright. Good deal. There we go. Alrighty. That call out a success. Hopefully that might help somebody. Alright, thanks for all your help guys. See you later.